Only on 7 News, one more thing we have to worry about. Burglars with a blowtorch. They got in and took off with thousands of dollars in electronics. These burglars hitting Denver neighbors near Dahlia and Florida. Molly Hendrickson talking to one victim, and Molly, you learned of other burglaries in that same area. Yeah, and we checked, and according to the Denver Police crime map here in Virginia Village, which is in southeast Denver, there have been seven burglaries in the past month. Now, it's unclear whether any of these are related, but what is clear is this latest case is the only one we've heard of where the thief used a torch to get in. So I came in here and my heart dropped. It's a burglary that's as brazen. And I noticed my computer was missing. As it is cowardly. And they took quite a few items. Last weekend, the victim, who asked us not to show his face, says thieves took a blowtorch to his skylight and burned their way in. Probably used a wonder bar or a crowbar and uh, lifted the whole sheet of plexi and then uh, just climbed right down. They made away with computers, skateboards, a TV, and other electronics. Thousands of dollars in goods he'd never see again, or so he thought. I received a ping that was turned on up in the 3300 block of Jasmine. It turns out someone turned on his computer near this house on Jasmine. The Find My Mac program alerted him by email, but moments later, the person pulled the plug. So the police are aware that my computer was at that location at one point. For now, he's beefed up home security, and neighbors are on high alert. They're hopeful this is the last they'll see of the blowtorch bandits in their hood. And we checked. Police say that unless the stolen computer is still sending a signal, they can't go to the house because they don't, for one, know the exact location that the GPS is sending the signal from. And there's also no way of knowing if it's still there. Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.